Samira Idrisu walks about 500 meters from her house to the stream to fetch water every day. It's the only source of water in Domiabra, a sprawling community at the outskirts of Accra. We drink this water and bathe with it. We also use it for household chores like cooking and washing. Safe water is not evenly distributed in Ghana. Many homes, especially those outside the city, are not connected to piped water. Young girls are mostly left with the task of going to streams to fetch water. Samira is 18 years old and in senior high school. She says the lack of piped water in her house has taken a toll on her education because she always gets to school late after fetching water in the morning. Samira says she's unable to come to this stream to fetch water at night because she fears she may be attacked. But sometimes she has to take that risk, and that is always a difficult decision to make. The Ghana Water Company says the country needs nearly 250 million gallons of water a day, but is only able to generate 192 million gallons daily. Samira believes if her home is connected to piped water, life would be much better. We struggle a lot in this community. I think if we get pipe water, I'll stop going to school late. Activists want the government to do more to improve the supply of safe drinking water in Ghana. If you are rich, I mean, you stand a chance of having access to safe water than when you are poor. So that kind of, I mean, um, disparity exists. We are looking at equity and inclusion because we want everybody to have access to safe water. Ghana hopes to achieve universal access to piped water across the country by 2030, in line with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. For Samira Idrisu, that is quite a long wait.